Hello, welcome back. Um, if you notice here, this 1.48 kilowatts of power coming out. That's from the solar array. As you can see, the two older ones, the one zooming in now, that was 600 watts, um, but it wasn't quite as good as this new Trina pa panel setup that I have. Um, I purchased this recently. It was on sale, so I just went out and got six of them. Uh, All together, it pushes close to two kilowatts of power. Uh, you'll see it in a moment here in the video where it's actually kicking out 1.4 kilowatts and you, I'll show you in a moment where it kicks down to 700 because I have them in parallel. Uh, later on I'll probably switch it back so that I have everything in serial but this inverter, this particular inverter cannot handle um, all the voltages that are coming off of there. So what I did was I actually purchased a new MPP solar inverter that will handle up to 500 watts of open circuit voltage. In this, in this particular inverter, it only handles up to 145, so I, can, I have to manipulate, I guess you could say, the solar array. Here, you'll see it, it's just, it's, it's kicking out 46%. It's, it's powering two pumps right now, as a matter of fact, uh, a 1.1 uh, 1 and then a 500 watt, I believe. I mean, I'm sorry, yeah, a 500 watt per hour. Uh, pump. On the bottom here on the right you'll see what's coming out of the battery um, and again uh, the, the new inverter that I have I won't even need that. Uh, as you know MPP now has solar inverters that you don't even need a battery to operate so I'm going to be testing that so stay tuned for that. The thing that uh, really gets me here is this 717 watts I'll show you in a moment where I'm actually absorbing that much solar array and again this is in parallel so it's only supposed to give me that much anyway um, but I'm actually getting sunlight on solar energy in a very uh, overcast day so this particular inverter is doing amazing it's now a year and a half old um, it's still working the way it's supposed to be working, nothing's happened. I haven't done anything other than reconfigure things, but it does what it's supposed to do. It's only rated to 2,400 watts, so my new inverter will be 5,000 watts. Again, sorry for the delay. If you like this channel, please subscribe. Thank you.